news broadcast will be translated into Yorkshire. Hello and good afternoon. Hey, I've got... Today, Tony Blair issued a warning to all rebel backbenchers saying that Labour must reunite in order to reform and that they must avoid the petty party politics that have threatened to fractionise the Tory party. Gaffer's not happy. Today, in international news, the Palestinian leader sensationally ended the ceasefire in the Middle East by openly attacking the British and Iranian troops as they patrol the quiet streets of Basra, a bloodbath of victims as predicted by the weekend. It's all kicking off, are you on? The FTSE 100 dropped by three points this morning after Globex stock trading was disrupted by conflict in the Middle East. Financial experts predict a rise in rates if companies are to avoid a total crash. Due to the growing conflict in the Middle East and the increasing demand in the West for crude oil, petrol prices are expected to rise to almost as much as 89 pence a litre. Not how much? And experts fear a £5 gallon is not too far away. Bloody extortionate. Victoria Beckham earlier today gave birth to her third child with David Beckham. Sources reveal that the baby boy is very healthy and weighs 7 pounds and 7 ounces. Posh has dropped another sprog. And finally, Chelsea's FA Cup tie with Manchester United has been cancelled due to heavy rain and harsh winds. The protestations were held mainly by the Chelsea players. So the Nancys aren't lacking. And now the weather. There will be sweeping rain and scattered showers throughout the north. It's going to piss it down. This will be replaced by sub-zero temperatures and a thick layer of frost throughout Saturday and Sunday. Wrap up, your knackers will freeze off. That's the lunchtime news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again at six. See you on later. Do I get feared now?